We're sitting here in Home Valley, Washington, about 60 miles east of Portland, Oregon, right here on the Columbia River. So this bridge here, um, the new span, 260 foot through truss, it was uh, erected on barge in Portland, Oregon. Um, that process took approximately five months. After the erection was complete, uh, the barge was then shipped from Portland, Oregon here to Home Valley, Washington. Uh, along the way, the bridge passed by a couple notable locations. It uh, made its way eastward on the Columbia, down into the gorge. Um, after we got into the gorge, we uh, paused briefly to go through the North Bonneville Lock and Dam. After that, it uh, headed under the Bridge of the Gods and then finally made its way out here. That total trip was approximately 24 hours and got it here safely. This project has, is a culmination of a number of years of efforts when you look at design, permitting, getting to the point where we're actually ready to build something. We've been designing this, permitting it for roughly three years, and over the last year and a half, we've been actually turning dirt, constructing foundations to get to the point where we are today, ready to float out the old truss and float in the new one. One reason that we are using the float out, float in approach is it does have a much smaller environmental footprint on the job site. We're able to construct much shorter work platforms, driving fewer pile in the waterway. So when you're driving fewer pile, you have less of an impact on the marine life and you have less of an impact on the fishermen in the area as well. There's some shallow areas, there's some sandbars, and so we've needed to coordinate with North Bonneville Dam to, uh, to have the water levels that we need to, to move these barges around. We've got uh, a removal barge set up that will come in and float underneath the existing bridge. That removal barge is ballasted down with approximately two million pounds of water. After we get that removal barge in place underneath the bridge, we will slowly start releasing that water to bring the barge up and then lift the old bridge off of its uh, existing foundations. The new bridge will be raised approximately 30 feet um, off of its barge. That raise will be completed by four strand jacks at essentially each corner of the bridge. At that point, the, uh, the bridge will get pushed into the new location via barge. Once we get there, we'll utilize those strand jacks, drop it down onto the new foundations, and, and move on from there. So these float-in, float-out moves are um, there's few and far between in the history of BNSF, so this one is uh, definitely special. This year has been a, a large year, very successful year. By the time we finish in 2019, we will have removed six pin-connected trusses from our system. The BNSF Heavy Bridge Program is another demonstration of BNSF's commitment to safety. It is ensuring we have reliable infrastructure, not only for our personnel working on the tracks, driving the trains, also for our neighbors in the communities surrounding our bridges.